Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 9th, 10th, and 11th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from my Aries. Hello, my Aries. How are you? Now, weekend reading, I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, so this is a, you know, we're, we're coming into a really strong, strong part of the month. This is, we are in uh, Leo season, which is fire. So that should, you know, you should feel that invigoration of that. There was that, you know, that Lion's Gate, which was on the 8th, and things will start closing or will close on the 12th. Then we go into that full moon on the 15th. So let's see what we have for Aries. Three cards face down. All three cards are reversed. Strong message for you. First card is the Queen of Water. Okay, water energy is our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy, fluid energy, emotional energy. And this is very giving energy. I feel that this is a very giving, emotionally giving energy for this weekend for you. Okay, this is that you... You know, maybe maybe, um, maybe there's been some hurt feelings and you have to try to pacify them or maybe you were just so really busy working at work and you missed, missed something that was very important. So you're just trying to um, kind of, it's not that you're necessarily, well, it could be very makeup energy and, you know, making up energy and this, but I feel that this is very warm, caring and understanding energy for you. Now, this is tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. Relationship develops to develop to a relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. Okay. So this is a very caring, loving energy. So this could be also maybe you're going a, going away for the weekend, and you're going to be you know having your um, cell phones off. And it's just going to all be about that other person. Yes, you know, relationships to me is, you know, your work, intimate or family. But I feel that this is going to be more intimate or family related. Okay, next card, the Ace of Fire. Very much your energy. Very much Ace's new beginning. Fire, of course, yours. Leo, we're in Leo season. Jan um, Sagittarius, burning energy can be very good. It can be very destructive, of course. But this is about new beginnings, new starts, new opportunities also. So this is an exciting new op uh, new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. So, you know, so this could be a continuation of this relationship, you know, which could be more intimate and family. But of course, it could definitely be about career. It says about career, career advancement. And this, but this is a very changing energy for you you're you know you're rethinking things and you're looking at you know this might be i don't know i you know maybe somebody is thinking about um getting married somebody or thinking about joining you know maybe living together you know getting the same apartment and it's almost like it's almost like somebody is thinking well in order for me to get married in order for me to get an apartment or a house in order for me to progress down that pathway, I need to make sure that this and this and this is done, okay? But it looks like things, or maybe something opens up for you that uh, maybe a career opportunity opens up for you that you actually say, well, you know what, because of this, I can now afford to move on this other emotional relationship. Okay, last card, this one's also reversed. And this is the Knight of Earth, very directional card. You know, I tell you, Knights, they know where they're going. Earth energy is our um, Virgo. We're going to go into Virgo season next. It's also our Capricorn and Taurus. It's about money, solid energy. So it's like, you know, it, it's like things opening up, maybe even money opening up for you. You are now being offered something that because of you being offered this or because of you taking this or you... Your plan is this. Because of this, it's like these other things are now possible for you. This is that type of energy. This is that type of energy. Whereas maybe you were living in your parents' basement and you know, you're like, okay, well, you know, can I bring can I bring a possible, you know, significant others down here? No. But now it's like, wow, 
you know, now because of this, and if I save a little bit, I can now get my own place, and then I can start having that type of relationship. This is that type of energy that this is all about. So this is loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. A guardian angel. So I kind of feel like this is also something like prayers answered. Um, you know, maybe it's somebody that was saying, oh, please, 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 let me get this job. Let me get this job. And then you got the job. So, you know, so I feel like this is prayers answered so that you can then possibly move on and then, you know, move into your dreams. Now, those will unfold themselves. They will reveal themselves. But now I feel like you're kind of in a position where you're like, oh, I can move out of mom and dad's basement. Okay? Okay. So my Aries, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.